Hey Marcel, so obviously um, you guys have been an excellent running team. It didn't come as easy tonight. Uh, what did you see from Colorado's defense? Was it a little bit more difficult than you anticipated? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, it all comes down to us executing a little bit better, putting our hats on our hats, and uh, just ultimately straining and finish, finishing blocks, uh, giving RJ and the rest of the back some uh, space to run. Marcellus, how do you, you know, you guys talked about you guys weren't able to seize the moment today. What, how do you, what do you guys need to do to kind of reboot to get yourself ready going into this next week with Florida? Yeah, the biggest thing is not to let the game beat you twice. Um, just get in tomorrow, uh, break down the tape, see what we got to improve on. Uh, and then at the end of the day, uh, clear because we got a new opportunity coming up next week. Marcellus, obviously, like you mentioned, you're going to watch tape during the week. But uh, throughout the week, uh, uh, Coach Prime was very public about, you know, Good attack the box and pray, basically try to stop the run. Did you see what that was happening? Did that bring you difficulty? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Uh, I mean, we played a good team. Uh, they did. Uh, they executed their game plan very well. Uh, and at the end of the day, um, they had some more hats in the box. Uh, we had it stuff up relatively well. Uh, but again, it just comes down to that strain and finish uh, and just little details uh, to help us be better. Considering the hype for this one, how big of a disappointment though is it to drop it? Uh, I mean, obviously, we want to win every game. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, you guys have heard us talk about that since we got started. Uh, so it is definitely uh, losing sucks. I hate to lose. Uh, everyone in that locker room hates losing. Uh, we hate, I mean, we had fans come out uh, this morning and uh, even to the game, a uh, huge crowd there to support us. Uh, we feel like we let them down too, but we just want to encourage them to keep coming out. Uh, we're going to uh, get in tomorrow and get better. Uh, bounce back next week. Uh, like he talked about, uh, I mean, their plan was to load the box, uh, and they did that. Uh, when you commit everyone to the line of scrimmage, uh, it gave us some opportunity to be successful throwing the ball there a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, when you got extra hats in the box, uh, they got to make plays. You know what I mean? Uh, it comes down to us making plays against them making plays. It's good to see that. Uh, how, how are you? How is the team feeling now? Going into the next week's game against you out, you know, in the state, what's everyone been like after tonight's loss? I mean, obviously, like you said, we're going to carry this one. Um, I always think about it as a 24 hour. We'll, uh, we'll sit on this one for tonight. Uh, like I said, break it down tomorrow. And then we got an amazing opportunity to go down to Gainesville next week. Uh, so that's our mindset of shift to that real quick. Um, I mean, like you said, like I said, everyone hates losing. Um, but we got to pick each other up. Uh, we got a true family over there in the locker room. I'm not worried about those guys. Uh, just put our arms around each other. and. Uh, Keep being better. Marcel, as Coach Mazan said, he'll learn a lot about this team over this next week. How you, you know, rebound from a loss. What's your role as a leader and a team captain to make sure this doesn't spiral? Uh, just like you said, uh, just truly being a leader and a team captain. Uh, the way I show up, the energy I bring, uh, giving someone or giving the rest of the team energy to match. Um, I can't come in moping around. Uh, can't come in just living on this one. Uh, we got to move on to the next one. Just keep encouraging the guys. Uh, like I said, get in the tape, figure out what we need to fix, uh, and just keep moving forward from there. Marcellus, what have you seen from KJ? I mean, it was a rough night for him, obviously, right? But what, if, what, if, what have you seen from the, in the pocket, in, in the locker room, those kinds of things? I mean, he's truly a ball player. Uh, I love blocking for him. Uh, we got to do a better job. He took some unnecessary hits that he shouldn't have uh, today, uh, and that comes on us up front. Uh, how do you take person, personal responsibility as a leader on the O-line? Um, that comes down to us executing our assignments uh, at a high level consistently. Um, but at the end of the day, he's a ball player. Uh, he's going to make plays when we need him to, uh, and he does a great job leading our team. This is the second game for Vegas to kind of dig out of a big hole. So how do you try to grab the game, grab the initiative of the game earlier on, and just kind of be in control of the and try to come back from things that once you guys back? I mean, uh, we always talk about eliminating uh, the things that get you beat: turnovers, penalties, uh, sacks, TFLs, all those things. Uh, and if you look at uh, the stat line, uh, you see that we fell short in those areas. Uh, we do. We had a uh, turnover in the red zone uh, to open up the game, uh, which put us kind of behind our uh, behind the eight ball. Uh, but ultimately, like you said, just coming out and executing at a higher level uh, from the jump. Considering the week of practice that you had, everybody talked about it. What's most disappointing about the performance? Uh, I think just ultimately, um, we pride ourselves on all the things that we do, uh, running the ball, taking shots, all those things. Uh, and it's just, um, again, when you look at the scoreboard, we didn't get it done. I'd say that's just the most disappointing factor is uh, we are walking away with a loss on this one. A couple more. Thanks, Marcellus. Thanks, Marcellus. Yep, y'all have a great night.